It's a bright and sunny day here in Miami where hundreds of athletes come to compete in the world's toughest obstacle race, the Tough Mother. Since its inaugural season in 2010, the Tough Mudder has become one of the pinnacles of elite obstacle course racing. The famous 10 to 13 mile race stood out as one of the longest obstacle course races. It then introduced the Tough Mudder half in 2016, giving runners the option to run half the distance as the full course. This year, it launched an even shorter distance course, the Tough Mudder 5K. Now in its 8 year of existence, the Tough Mudder has released a racing series across the globe. The Tougher Mudder, the 10 mile full competitive race. The Toughest Mudder, an 8 hour race testing the fortitude of racers through the night. The World's Toughest Mudder, a competition inviting athletes from all over the world to truly test their endurance for 24 hours. And the newest Tough Mudder X, a one-mile race for the ultimate Blitzkrieg showdown. Here in Miami, we asked participants after their run what makes the Tough Mudder a race they would keep going to. I'm here because I love to do obstacle races and mud runs and they don't often come to Miami, so I do all of them that I can when they come here. Tough Mudder has probably the most uh, teamwork-based obstacles. Um, even when you're in the like, competitive heat or whatever, uh, you're allowed help and you're allowed to help and receive help from your fellow competitors, which I love. I run a lot of obstacle races every year, so this is just another one I wanted to try. And the tougher mudder is something that I just wanted to get out here against the elites and see how I do. Everybody here is just here to help you out to, to win. And um, whether you're running and just needing somebody to talk to you and encourage you to keep on going, or when you get to the obstacle, maybe just helping you pull it up through and then it, it makes you motivated to help the other person behind you too. So it's cool. We also asked the staff of Tough Mudder why they launched a shorter course like the 5K and what the future holds for this world known race. Uh, it's part of an overall process that we're doing in bringing in new customers and one of the things that we saw that we were missing was a real beginner level that allowed entry and non-super fitness focused people to enter into the Tough Mudder family of brands and it's a great touch point for people to really get to experience what Tough Mudder is all about with having, without having to do some of our bigger and better obstacles like electroshock therapy um, and it gives participants a great opportunity to get out there, get off the couch, have some fun uh, while getting to a little bit of a taste of what Tough Mudder is all about. We're constantly trying to innovate and we're constantly trying to create new, uh, new touch points for our customers. So whether that's on the race side series and competitive events as we expand with our uh, television partners or whether it's in our cha challenge series which is about getting people out of their comfort zones and, and trying to get them out and having fun. Uh, I think there's constantly a way of innovating and whether that's from our obstacles or whether creating new events, shorter formats or longer formats, uh, we're always looking to push the button. As Miami participants finally grit through this eight-year OCR tradition, they've built themselves through camaraderie and endurance. Until next year, signing off from Miami, Florida, I am Renee Suarez with the EBC Florida Bureau, and I'm always one with 25. guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to leave some love by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe here at ebc digital nest so you don't miss any of our upcoming features